Roblox did an oopsie. Twitch did an oopsie. Disney did an oopsie. Everyone did an oopsie. Good evening, I'm Papi Borga. Welcome to Pew News. Our first story comes from Roblox. PewDiePie played Roblox the other day to stop T-Series, closing the gap over 42,000 subscribers. There was over 120,000 concurrent viewers at some point, making it the biggest Roblox livestream of all time. I don't know if that's true. I just think it sounds pretty epic. Now I go on Roblox every day and I check out my latest creations. And I realized that PewDiePie's account had been deleted. Offensive item, recent inappropriate, Pew the 123T32's place has been terminated. How could Roblox do it? Roblox would never do this! Our content monitors have determined that your behavior at Roblox had been in violation of our terms of service. What? Roblox banned PewDiePie from promoting them. How could they do this? SMH Roblox, you banned PewDiePie? Roblox is biased. Now I'm not supposed to have my opinion, but I would never be that biased. They banned PewDiePie just because he said a couple bad words? Disgusting. PewDiePie didn't deserve to be banned. Unban PewDiePie. Unban PewDiePie. Now people are outraged in the Roblox community and rightfully so. I'm not supposed to have my opinion, but PewDiePie getting banned from P uh, P uh, Roblox is probably the most grave offenses that I've ever seen in our modern society. 95% and I'm not supposed to have my opinion, but I had to do it to see the poll vote, okay? 84 people have spoken. I think it's pretty clear that PewDiePie needs to get unbanned. Now, I watched the whole live stream. <laughs> And I don't remember saying anything bad. I mean, what did I do that was so bad? Everyone that makes an account in Roblox gets their own little house, their own little sanctum, their own little heaven. Imagine that just getting ripped away from you. So you may think to yourself, well, PewDiePie was just having fun playing with his friends, like his fans. There was nothing wrong with what he did. Uh-uh-uh, I think I discovered I did some hardcore digging, and I think I discovered the reason behind the ban. Look guys, I made a new friend. Oh! You see that? He was caught speeding. He went 150 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour lane. I mean, he can cry all he wants, but he did violate the law. So, I watched it all. He didn't troll or anything. He had fun with the fan. And other people saying the same thing. I watched the entire live stream. He did nothing wrong. And then people started, you know, going into conspiracy territory saying that I heard from a video that uploading anything related to PewDiePie or Roblox might get you banned. So I decided to try it out. Uploading a shirt saying sub to PewDiePie. Lo and behold, he got a warning. Offensive item, reason inappropriate, sub to PewDiePie. How could he? So people were still kind of curious, like, why? Like, why is that so bad? And people found this uh, post from a Roblox staff from January 9 saying, PewDiePie is no longer permitted on Roblox due to his content redirecting to unsafe and inappropriate site channels. What the hell does that mean? As well as continued inappropriate behavior that would not be permitted on Roblox on his own channel. So it doesn't matter what you do on Roblox. <laughs> it doesn't matter what behavior you have on their game. I anything outside will get you banned. Links to sites and channels. Like what the hell? What sites and channels do I link to? They even say themselves that linked websites are not under our control. We are not responsible for their content. It says in their own terms of service, which they banned me for. How could they? I mean PewDiePie. How could they do this? I had never been this outraged. Okay, well then you need to ban 90% of people on YouTube like Logan Paul and Vanos Gaming for saying inappropriate things, right? It's basically the same thing. So basically Roblox saying that YouTubers with mature themes are not permitted to ever join Roblox. Is that what they're saying? It's annoying that fans that would just want to support me literally get their account deleted for adding like sub to PewDiePie. My favorite one is this one, Roblox. I met PewDiePie yesterday on Bee Swarm Simulator, I greeted him, and he got his account disabled for saying, hi PewDiePie, an offensive item. Hi PewDiePie, hi PewDiePie. 
My list of demands for the unban is simple, okay? This is a letter directly to you, Roblox. I supported you. I made the biggest Roblox live stream, and I think a lot of people could benefit from your game. But now, I changed my mind, and I'm really angry. Reinstate my Roblox private uh, game thing. 123T32. Not just reinstate my account, but I want at least 500 Roblox as an apology. And I also want a written apology saying subscribe to PewDiePie to show that you don't support T-Series in all this. That's my list of demands. If you don't follow Roblox, you're gonna be very mistakenly. You're gonna be regretful, okay? You're gonna be angry at yourself. You're gonna regret this, Roblox. Those are my demands. You have 25 hours. Next, news because I'm so angry. The new Aladdin was announced. And uh, Will Smith is just on a career destroying path at this point. When he sweat, the sweat run backwards off his forehead just to stay away from his face. Was that supposed to entice people to watch the film? Jesus Christ, what was that? What have you done to the beloved genie? You know there's gonna be a ton of memes. There's already a lot of memes. Colossal is crazy posted. Breaking bad deleted scene. <laughs> oh God. Actual photo of Will Smith in new live-action Aladdin movie. <laughs> this looks like blue version of Shrek. Yes, it does. Upgrade. Ah, oh, go go back. It's not too late to just not do this. Please, Disney. Please don't do this. Next news. Uh, Mr. Beast posted on Twitter that he got this claim, which was very questionable. My recent tweets have been about my videos getting claimed, and I just want to do a video to give a little more details. Basically, this is the old YouTube, uh, you know, analytics, which is what I use. And uh, on this, it just tells you whatever, musical composition, the record label, you know, monetized by copyright. It doesn't give you any information, which is why I was always so confused. Uh, if we look, this video is claimed by Living On by Pascal, whoever that guy is. So watch the video. This is what I think they claimed me for, because we are singing this song. And on a prayer. Didn't use a beat or anything, we just sung the song. Um, so I don't think that's claimable, but whatever. And then this Pascal guy, who doesn't even own the song, claimed it because of, let's find his song. Where is his? Right here. This one, uh, Living On. I think he says Living On in the video. So I'm guessing we got claimed because we said the words Living On. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try muting it Holy and cutting it out, but that's what I'm saying. I just have to. <laughs> you say the words living on and you get claimed all the revenue is lost from your videos by those simple two words oh god did i just say them like what the hell is this youtube system it's insane so it's not even the song he's referencing but he still gets claimed for just referencing a song like what the hell is this system on youtube where you can do this sort of thing this guy should not be allowed to upload songs on YouTube if this is the sort of uh, way you abuse the system. The system is there to protect people from copywriting and up re-uploading other people's content. This is not it. How crazy is this? Now, Grande pointed out on Twitter that uh, methods that these uh, companies are using outside of YouTube are equally crazy, if even crazier, bringing up uh, stories like in one case, it told a 61-year-old mechanic that he would have to pay 150 pounds to play his radio while he worked by himself. It also targeted a bakery that played a radio in a private room at the back of the shop. A woman who used classical radio to calm her horses had to pay up. A community center that allowed children to sing carols in public. Like, this is how copyright is used to target individuals in abuse and copyright law like what the hell this is the greed is just unfathomable i mean this is not about protecting artists something needs to get done next <laughs> speaking of bad claims questionable decisions made by ev decisions made by everyone not just companies but individuals in the community as well this time, just Destiny. I mean, I called out YouTubers for making questionable copyright claims before, just because I think it's really important. Like, if companies are abusing the system, then at the very least, we as individuals or YouTube creators should not be abusing the system. 
But no one listens. Just Destiny this time, a channel with 1.7 million subscribers. He make uh, Dr. Phil videos, which I may or may not have gotten some inspiration from. Uh, but he also makes these very questionable uh, thumbnails where he criticizes really young girls. And he adds them in a very sexual manner in the thumbnail. She's only 13. A lot of people called out Just Destiny from this saying, Dude, like, what are you doing? This is kind of messed up. This 15 year old kid called LT Cobra uh, criticized him. And already the top search you get, what kids are really doing on Musical.ly. Now without the thumbnail already giving it away that they're children, we also have kids in the title. So Just Destiny is fully aware that he's using the fact that kids are being very sexual to boost his views. F***ing quality mate. We have this individual here kind of moving her hair back with her tits out. Destiny, wh why is this on your hard drive? No, Trevago must be stopped. Daniel Brigoli exposed. Tits in a thumbnail. Not to mention the fact that it says she's only 14. And Lo and behold, Just Destiny took this video down criticizing him, which obviously he can't do. It's just the YouTube system is so fantastic. And on top of that, he also sent a lawsuit against this kid. This 15 year old kid that made this video, he sent a lawsuit against for being defamatory, I think at least. Keemstar even pointing out that this is a fake lawsuit. It seems to be fake and there's no listed attorney under that name. So it's basically just fake threats and scare tactics to get this uh, kid to shut up from criticizing him. Just Destiny did a response to this, basically saying, well, he called me a pedo. So there was this kid named LT Cobra who made a video on me about two weeks ago, insinuating, accusing, or throwing out the conspiracy that I may be like some type of pedo or nonce as they call it. Somehow he came away with the conclusion and the bright idea that he should make a video spreading rumors, speculating, and basically insinuating that I could possibly be a pedo. I think you're getting stuck, Just Destiny, on the whole pedo thing. Most people probably don't think you're a pedophile. Most people are criticizing you for using really, really young girl in a sexual manner as a thumbnail, as a way to draw people in. I mean, I have a girl in my thumbnail of this video because I know that will get views. Everyone knows how this shit works. But to use underage girls is very questionable. It's kind of gross thing to do and I think you deserve to be criticized for it. This ain't rocket science. You know what you're doing, and even if you're denouncing it, that's just weird. This is weird. All you really had to do in this situation was acknowledge, yeah, you know what? That was fucked up. I won't do it again. And people just can't learn. People just can't face criticism. And instead, he just abuses copyright on YouTube, which is already an issue enough to take down this kid's video and even sending a lawsuit. It's really f***ing annoying how people keep doing this. Just stop. Like, this whole thing got so much overblown. Again, I've f***ing referenced uh, Barbara Streisand for the hundredth f***ing time. Why do I keep swearing? It's not helping, sorry. The more you try and hide something on the internet, the more people will find it. Just acknowledge that you were wrong and move on. It ain't that hard. God damn. Like, people are generally forgiving on the internet. Just own up to your mistakes, and that's it. That's all you had to do. It's not like, god damn. Next news. To brighten the mood a bit, Takeshi, who's, who's in, uh, he's in jail right now, I think. Before he got arrested, god bless him, he recorded this brand deal for Valentine's Day, and it's goddamn beautiful. Well, how can I help you guys? Yeah, we're ready to spice things up. You do know you have to know your partner's limitations. I agree. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to make a lot of stupid mistakes. Yeah. I'm ready to learn more. Get informed. Help stop violence against women. Oh. Visit a Romantic Depot near you and pick up your free pamphlet. Thanks to Romantic Depot, I now know how to treat women with dignity and respect. Visit Romantic Depot Rockland. Go to RomanticDepot.com for directions. Finally, Takashi, another fellow man. That knows how to do respect women. He has so much respect for women. That was way more impactful than any Gillette commercial. It just my, in my opinion. Next news, the final news is about Helena Live getting banned. Uh, she got banned for basically saying there's only two genders. Your recent behavior has proven your lack of understanding what hateful speech is and how it may affect your community or your channel. Told me that I insulted the transgender community. I would advise you to study our TOS and community guidelines once again. Okay, so what she alleges is, I, I'm saying alleges because I haven't seen the clip, 
because her channel is deleted, so you can't really watch it. But she said that she was just bringing up the ideas around biology. I think she says it here. I'm on stream that I think biologically there's two genders. I think there's the woman and the man. That's what biology tells us. I specifically said it's okay if a man wants to be a woman and a woman wants to be a man. You cannot be anything in between. I said I supported the transgender community. I never said I didn't. They banned me because I said there's two genders or sexes. That's why I got permanently banned from Twitch. Are you actually kidding me right now? Biology with Helena Live, everyone. Now, <laughs> she says, so apparently if you get three bans, you're, you're off the site on Twitch. I'm not sure if that's right. I shouldn't say stuff that I don't know. But she basically sh says that she's only been banned once. He says several. I've been banned once. And warned that way... And warned that way that the behavior you're showing is unfortunately not the type of content we let live on Twitch. You let boobs, though. You let <laughs> actual naked tits. But you don't let conversation. I'm very sorry you had to come to this decision, but there's no turning back from this point, and we have finalized the process. We hope... We can look back one day and learn and grow from this. I, lo I love that. We hope that one day we can all learn from this. You're not allowed to have any discussions about certain topics. I mean, I proof that Twitch staff is filled with white knights. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, the thing is, you know that this is such a sensitive topic for a lot of people that it's like, if someone brought this up, I kind of would just go, eh. I mean, I don't know why, what the context behind this discussion was. I don't know why she was discussing it. Explosives that you probably shouldn't go near. And lo and behold, here's the reason why you shouldn't. But then again, it's pretty concerning. I mean, this seems to me, again, I haven't watched the footage, so I don't know what she exactly said, but it, if it is what she says, then, I mean, Twitch seems to be pretty strongly against freedom of speech, if that's the case. As long as she wasn't inciting violence or harm against anyone, she should have every right to express her opinion about it, whether you agree with it or not. It's pretty concerning how these websites are shutting down people vo voicing their opinion on a subject because it might offend a community of people. I mean, that just doesn't seem right to me. This bending of freedom of speech just to appease a group of people. We're living in really strange times right now. Really strange times. I would be concerned if I was a Twitch streamer, <laughs> to say the least. Jesus Christ. I mean, as much flack as I give YouTube, at least I haven't seen them pull any stuff like this. I know YouTube still is working really hard to protect freedom of speech, and they know how important that is. And to see Twitch make a decision like this is very concerning. I would, I would like, before I express myself too much on this, to have seen what she actually said. Uh, but as she pointed out herself, uh, which was... They're not giving me access to my VOD to prove to them that they're not that they're lying. They're saying I don't support transgender people. When I, when in that VOD, in that VOD that they banned me and that I had to delete, I said I do. I am done. At this point, there's nothing I can do about Twitch. So there you have it. I, as far as I'm concerned, I think she switched over to YouTube. Man, crazy. I can't imagine. I mean, your livelihood, basically, I don't know, is she a full, full-time live streamer? Just getting banned? That really sucks. Okay, that's it for this week's clear news. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash like if you did. And I, as always, I'm Poppy Gloria Borger Parlo. And this has been my pleasure. Good evening, good night, and have a good life. You want pyramids? We got them. Oh, you're into castles, huh? We got you covered, baby. You want some pets? Easy. We got it all. This game is still relevant, goddammit. it.